Hello everyone, this is Big Big Patty, and welcome back to Neon Chrome. You know, I had a really good time with this game the other night, so I wanted to play some more. So, uh, let's see what happens here. We have switched over from using the Xbox One gamepad to using keyboard and mouse controls. I just figure that it'll be a bit, a bit easier, but I guess we're gonna find out. Um, we're gonna go ahead and choose that guy because he had more health and as we know I'm kind of terrible at managing my health thus far. We are on number six So let's see what happens as we continue the fight Alrighty All right. This is I have a feeling I'm gonna like this a bit more. Oh an upgrade right away. Okay. Let's see, we get to select an enhancement. So, wow, that's like a lot of credits. Uh, merely sharpened titanium sides, improve my, improve better than that. 30 chance to spawn three small submutations. And that's actually just gonna give me more health. That's just what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go for more health. Just, just give me as much fucking health as possible. That's pretty much what I need. Okay. That is a series of very scary explosions that unfortunately lost me a chest, I'm pretty sure. So, damn. That's super unfortunate. Okay. Oh god. Again, I did not... was not paying a lot of attention to that. Pay attention. I think that maybe that's one of my biggest problems in games like this, is that I just do not pay enough attention to what I'm doing. Could be. I'd still like to figure out how, like, health works. You know, some health upgrades every now and again would be nice. Like, you know, to reheal. Like, not health upgrades, but like, being able to get health back that I lost, I feel would be super useful for me. But, you know, I guess that's just a unique problem that I'm having. Okay, uh, maybe I can get that the next time it pops up. That's nice. Uh, I'm going to assume that that thing is going to be mad at me. Those things are mad at me. Can I shoot that, please? Okay. Um. Man, is that like even anything that I could do anything about? Oh gosh. Okay. I feel like this is this is not going very well. I feel like I've lost quite a significant amount of health just like standing in this corner. Oh lord. Okay. Um wow. I feel like I have definitely put myself into a death corner. Oh lord. Wow. Um, yeah, I would say pro strat is to not do that ever again. That wasn't even, there wasn't even anything in there to be worth it. Oh my gosh, there was health in that loot box. Need the loot boxes, they might give me health. That's good to know. Okay, uh, did I lose health there, or was that just it? Okay. Oh my gosh, there's the key. So I did need to go down there. And now I have to risk life and limb once again. For the damn key. Okay. Okay, we, we got in. We got in, we got out. We did it. We did it, we got the key, all right. That guy got murderized right away. We'll just set off the bomb and kill those two. Um, 
we'll go ahead and just stab that thing. Uh, we get one of those thingies. We got that. There's another one coming for retribution against me. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay, well we still we're still up in health. Which is nice, it's good. We could use some more though, game. Wanna give me some more free health drops? Please? Oh man. I tell you, I've been uh I've been watching Full Metal Alchemist for the first time. And uh I just say we're on episode forty two now we just finished up. And it's it's really good. We got some craziness going on with the kid's dad right now. We have a massacre getting planned at the big uh, wall. There's a lot of really interesting subplots going on right now that I'm I'm excited to see where they lead because I'm not entirely sure what to expect. This uh, show has really subverted my expectations in a in a way that I'm just really really into at the moment. All right, unfortunately, I'm not a hacker, so I don't get it to get into that box. But I've also been watching a few new shows. So I was recently watching a show called Ransom, which is actually about like a private negotiator. And if I'm recalling correctly, it's based off of the real life story of an actual negotiator um, which could prove to be very interesting um, if it holds up I was also watching a show called Pure Genius which is a terrible terrible name for a TV show I mean god awful in development its name was Bunker Hill much better name for a TV show Especially given that it's about a hospital named Bunker Hill. So I feel like... I feel like the name Bunker Hill would have worked great for a TV show. And... They got me. But no, they decided to call it Pure Genius. Which I'm assuming is because one of the main characters of the TV show is a tech billionaire. Who uses his money to open up a high-tech hospital. And... It's not rated very well on Rotten Tomatoes. I think it had like a 24%. But I decided to give it a, a shot anyway and check it out. And I actually like it quite a lot. It's um, basically the idea of the show is um, take the thing that was on the top of like our science for like medical science in 2015 and write an episode about a hospital utilizing that technology to accomplish something for instance we've all heard of spider silk or you may have heard of spider silk and it's a material that might be able to be used as a biodegradable uh, casting of sorts um, and so they're like all right that was on reddit that's where I learned about it, was on some, like, Reddit, some clickbait Reddit post, right? Like, well, what if we use that, and we, like, smash up a kid's leg, and just be like, okay. So, we use this technology, and we were able to save the kid's leg in a situation where he normally would have lost his leg. Because that's like one of the possible applications for the technology, right? We could use it to put castings internal to the body and to help keep things in place while they heal when normally there would be too many fragments or too many fractures to do so with like an outside cast, like a traditional cast that you would, you know, get if you went to the doctor today and had broken your leg or whatever. And so they're like, let's do that. And that was the premise of the episode. They've had other technologies um, that I've read about on Reddit that they showcased like, hey, this is what we might be able to do with this thing. And I think it's kind of great. It dares to imagine what the future of medical science can be like while at the same time 
basically making the riding really easy by grabbing whatever the latest clickbait was and running with it whenever they were writing the show. So I don't know. I feel like it was uh, a decent premise with a terrible name and it's been cancelled unfortunately. And I feel like it's a bit of a shame. I mean the views on each of the episodes is like 6 million viewers on the premiere. And like that sounds pretty good to me. Maybe, maybe views on shows are a lot higher than that, but I feel like, I feel like 6 million viewers is pretty good for any new show in its first season. Let alone one with this dumb of a name. But alas, as, as it goes, it is no more. So I was watching another show called Superstore, and that's basically like a commentary on Walmart and America. And it is brilliant. I need to remember I have right click abilities as well. Because, like, those are useful. But that shows a comedy through and through, and it's amazing. And everyone should watch it. I watched the. all. Um, all two seasons, all 20 episodes that are out of it right now in like three days. It was great. My favorite bit was, uh, <laughs> they did an episode on Black Friday that was just <laughs> absolutely incredible. It was so funny. You get the, everyone likes to joke about, like, the raging mob mentality that people have. You know, people get trampled and things. Every year I make jokes about, like, make sure you bring your shiv so you can stab the guy and get the deal. And, like, that is just what they did <laughs> with the Black Friday episode. <laughs> it was great. They basically take all those jokes that we like to make about Black Friday and they just... They had people act them out. And... It was brilliant. Bones. I've been watching some Bones. I'm a big fan of Bones and uh, procedural cop dramas, I guess, in general. But not things like CSI or in CSI or anything with CSI in the title, except for CSI Cyber. That shows that shows amazing. Um, if only for how goofy the computer science was in it. I enjoyed that show. But Bones is up for its final season. They brought back a, a long-time favorite uh, character named Zack, who was taken out in... Gosh, it must have been the third or fourth season of the show. They turned his character into, like, a serial killer, and then he left the show. And now they're bringing him back for the final season, and I'm really excited to see what happens. The writers, when they originally removed him from the show, always talked about having this idea that they wanted to use him as, like, a Hannibal Lecter kind of character. You know, now we have a serial killer that's a main character, and we can utilize him for, like, a darker take. So when the team isn't quite sure what's going on, we'll just have them go and consult the actual serial killer, and he can give them insight that they would not normally have, and whatever, and... They never did it, which I always found really disappointing. So the fact that they're kind of doing something like that with this last season is kind of exciting. And hopefully it can end on a high note, you know? It's about the best that anybody can hope for with a show that's been running as long as it. Uh, we get the key now. Now we'll come over here to the red door. Let's see what goes on. I know about uh, if anyone else has been watching coverage of CES on YouTube like I have, but there is some amazing technology coming up in the next years for us. We've got 8K televisions are a thing now 
apparently. We have fork. We have monitors at 240 hertz. We've got Lenovo, who's got an all-in-one PC that's got 4K at 140 4 hertz, was it, I think? Just insane, insane technology. The future is bright. Oh! Item 1 out of 13 unlocked in Chapter 1, Weapon the Ion Shotgun. Oh, what? This one can now be found from the Armor Core Weapon Crates. Amazing. Let's, let's do it. Oh my gosh, we have this new crazy shotgun. And yet, the SMG... has got better stats. Well, that's disappointing. Oh well. We'll go ahead and keep with what we got since we're happy with it. Okay. Yeah, I have to say, I feel like this is going a bit better with the uh, keyboard and mouse. I'm sometimes trying to trail that still and I keep forgetting that just because I see a um, red line there does not mean that my bullets are going to go down the red line, because of course they're not. There's this whole idea of accuracy. Okay, can I... Okay, can I like... Oh, you know what? Can I do that? Oh, that's really lame. I should be able to bust through that wall. I've been finding this incredibly lame that I'm not able to bust through the wall. I feel like slowing down in this game helps a little bit. A lot of it I was kind of trying to run and gun it, kind of like Gungeon or something, but like... I feel like just slowing down and taking things is helping out quite a bit. I did just take a lot of damage there that was unnecessary though. So, that is a little unfortunate. Whoa, that guy's got a lot more health than I was expecting to see. Oh, come on. Just let me stab him, please. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, that is just that did not go very well. I could use some... I could use a health pack, please. This game... You know what? Meh. Oh, Lord. I was, like, backed in a corner. I was like, oh, gosh, they're going to hit me here. But, no. Somehow they didn't. Oh my gosh, another upgrade? Even faster rate of fire now? Oh goodness. Is that... Okay, do I take this here? Or do I go for the yellow room? I feel like I've kind of made up my mind since I'm already heading south. But at the same time, like... I also feel like, oh my gosh, if that would have killed me, I would have been so, so pissed. In fact, if this thing kills me somehow, I will be extra pissed. Okay. Oh gosh. I'm like really nervous now about this. I'm like, I want to do it, but like at the same time, I've got like so little health that I'm super afraid that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna blow it. At this point. <gasps> oh no! Oh, I blew it! Oh my gosh, I should have just taken it. I should have taken it. I shouldn't have been so greedy. I tried to be greedy and it failed. I failed. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Had to move another monitor there. Um. Shoot, so close. Yeah, game's definitely a lot easier when you're using your keyboard and mouse and when you slow down. Um. 
hands down, way better. Would recommend this with keyboard and mouse. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Drop a comment below. Subscribe to see more, and I'll see you next time. Good night.